Welcome everyone to another example. Today we'll be talking about comparing ratios using ratio tables. Watch the video a couple of times, make sure you understand everything's going on, and then answer the questions at the end of the exercise. Let's get started. In this example, we're going to start comparing ratios using ratio tables. First, let's do a little practice. We're going to create four equivalent ratios using the ratio 30 to 80. Two of these we're going to be scaling up. We're going to be making the numbers 30 and 80 bigger. Two, we're going to create them by scaling down. We're going to make the numbers 30 and 80 smaller. You can think about it like doing fractions. If we wanted to make equivalent fractions that were smaller, we'd divide both numbers by the same thing. If we wanted to make equivalent fractions that were larger, we'd multiply both numbers by the same thing. So let's give it a try. Let's start by writing the ratio. 30 to 80. Now these two numbers, we can make them smaller by dividing them both by the same thing. They're both even numbers, so I can divide them by 2. 30 divided by 2 is 15. 80 divided by 2 is 40. This is an equivalent ratio that I have scaled down from 30 to 80. I can even scale 15 to 40 down some more. They're both divisible by 5, so I can divide them both by 5. That gives me 3 to 8. If I wanted to scale up, I'd start with my ratio and multiply both of them by the same thing. You can pick any number you want to multiply by. When you divide, you need to pick a number that goes into both parts of the ratio. I'm going to start by multiplying by 2. 2 times 30 gives me 60. 2 times 80 gives me 40. If I do it again, I can pick another number to multiply by. This time I think I'll multiply by 10. 2 and 10 are some of the easiest numbers to use to scale up. Well, there we go. We have two equivalent ratios where we've scaled down and two equivalent ratios where we've scaled up. If we listed all these ratios in order, 3 to 8 is our smallest ratio, 15 to 40 is an equivalent ratio, 30 to 80, that's the one we started with, 60 to 40, and 300 to 800. All five of these ratios are equivalent. They all have the same value, and that value is 3 eighths. Here we have a table of ratios that are all equivalent, and we want to write a ratio to describe the relationship shown in the table. We could pick any one of these, but none of them are our smallest ratio. If we take 2 and 16, this ratio can be scaled down. We can make a smaller ratio out of it. If we divide 2 and 16 by the same number, and I'm picking 2 because they're both even, we get the ratio 1 to 8. Since there's no number besides 1 that can be divided into both 1 and 8, we found the smallest ratio. We can use this to find the rate for this problem. This ratio means for every 1 hour they can sell 8 pizzas. For every 1 hour 
they sell eight pizzas. This is a rate of eight pizzas per hour. I'm sure you've heard of a rate before that has something per something, like miles per hour, dollars per gallon, dollars per hour. We have rates a lot in our lives. Well, that's how you find the rate given a ratio. The rate of a ratio is really just the value of the ratio. You take the first part of the ratio and divide it by the second part. We can use these rates or values of the ratio to compare different ratios. We can see if one is bigger or smaller than the other, or you can take more than two and put them in order. In class today, that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be finding the rate of several different ratios and then comparing them. Make sure you watch the video a couple of times so you really understand how to do this. Answer the questions in the homework, and we'll see you in class tomorrow. Bye!